First tonight, the city of Dayton is celebrating another opportunity for small businesses to grow. A groundbreaking happening today for a new kitchen incubator inside the Dayton Arcade. Two News reporter Riley Phillips has new information on how this space will help Dayton keep growing. This space right behind me will soon become a 10,000 square foot commercial kitchen. The idea is to create a space where food entrepreneurs can create their products and also get education to help them grow their business. And the cool part is this was all started by three women who wanted to make a difference here in the Dayton community. We are not the first and we are determined to not be the last. These are the women behind 6888 Kitchen. They created this program as a way to help food entrepreneurs get their footing and learn how to build a business. There are over 60 businesses to come in, whether they are caterers, food service, e-commerce, a food truck, where they can not only scale their business, but they can cook and showcase their product. Monday marked the beginning of construction on the more than 10,000 square foot space that will house the commercial kitchen and be a haven for growth and opportunity. What we want to see happen is not only that the food entrepreneurs get the education that they need to grow their business, but they have the space to do it. Therefore, going back out into the communities, employing more people, establishing more brick and mortars, and just really adding more dollars you know, to the area. While the kitchen is under construction, 6888 is already running an academy called Sharpen the Axe, where small business owners get a five-week course in financial literacy and training to help their companies take off. Lisa Coleman just graduated from the first cohort of the program. I think that they actually are saving a lot of us from actually drowning. She says she's grateful there are programs like this that will continue to help her dreams become reality. I think that's where a lot of small businesses fail is because they don't have, um, you know, the, the six AAA to actually kind of guide them on, on what's needed to be done. And the owners chose the name six AAA after the six AAA Central Post Battalion in World War II, where more than 800 black women soldiers were sent to Europe to help with a backlog of mail. And the owners hope the work they're doing leaves a similar legacy. In Dayton, Riley Phillips, 2 News, working for you.